Hey, happy day. Politics and Christmas time, it all kind of goes together. It's seasonal, don't you know? The world is kind of messed up. Let me share a story with you. Here it goes. It snowed last night. Uh, uh, I know, not here. Make it up. Pretend it snowed last night and there were several inches of snow. And so 8 a.m. I went outside and I built a snowman. 8.10, a feminist passed by and said, hey, why didn't you make a snow woman? 8.15, I made a snow woman. 8.17, the same person came back and said, hey, she's got a big chest. That's very insulting to women everywhere. 8.20, the gay couple that lived just down the street threw a hissy fit and moaned and moaned and said, hey, it should have been two snow men, not a snow woman. So the transgender man at 8.22, he came along as well. And he said, women, person, what is it? You gotta just make it out with the detachable parts. 825, the vegans at the end of the lane complained about the carrot nose as veggies are food not to be used to decorate snow figures. 828, I was called the racist because the snow couple is white. 830, I used food coloring to make one of the snow couple people, snow people a different color and be more racially inclusive. 837. Then I was accused of using a black face in the snow person, 839, the Middle Eastern gent that lived really far down the road. He came along and said, hey, that snow woman needs to be covered up, don't you know? And then at 840, the police arrived and they said, somebody's been offended and they sh reported you. <laughs> they phoned it in. 842, that same feminist neighbor, again, she complained that the snow woman had a broomstick. Again, women all around the world, they're insulted because, you know, it's a domestic kind of symbol, right? 843, the council and equality officer arrived and threatened me with eviction. 845, the news crew from several television channels showed up and I was asked the difference between snowmen and snow women and I replied, snowballs? So now I'm a sexist. And at nine o'clock I was on the news as a suspected terrorist, racist, and offender of all, I guess. Stories of trouble during difficult times, right? 910, I was asked if I had any accomplices. My children were then taken by social services. 929, far left protesters offended by everything marched down my street demanding that I be arrested. 945, the boss called and fired me because of this negative association and all the social media channels. And 10 o'clock, I just sat and had a drink and I started to cry because all I wanted to do was build a snowman. The moral of the story, is there one? I don't know. Only that we're dealing with a whole bunch of snowflakes. That are the year politicians of the day. Get ready for the boom 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 2022 SHOT Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's going to be great. Y'all just can't show up and come. You have to be invited. You got to be a star owner or a retailer. There's about 80,000 people coming. It's great fun. The day before the SHOT Show, they have a, a range where people get invited, media primarily, and we all shoot boom 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 boom. And it's just a blast. Pardon the pun, January 18th to 21, and all the industries now are back with regards to trade shows and things in Las Vegas. Things are, um, you know, happening, and, and all the expectations have been exceeded with regard to how it was going to work out, so that's kind of fun. Alex Baldwin, ugh, the guy who gives me a pig talking about guns, he now claims in an interview, live television, he says, I didn't pull the trigger, the gun fired by itself. The guy clearly has no clue about it. Why is he liberal? He's trying so hard now to disassociate with anything bad because he's a perfect guy. A gun like that, there's three steps to a gun to go off by itself. One, you have to load it. Two, you have to cock it, pull the trigger back. And three, you have to pull the trigger. Otherwise, it won't fire. That's just kind of the way it is, right? <laughs> I'm not educated, but even I know that. And he says, I didn't pull the trigger. I didn't do it. Hey, you killed somebody. You wounded somebody. He should be so far in jail, you gotta feed him with a slingshot, right? I don't know. Certainly should be arrested. Something should happen. I mean, the guy did a bad thing. You gotta, ch -ch -ch, it's three steps. <clears throat> oh, I didn't do it, he said. Here's another guy that doesn't do much. This uh, Dr. Fossey, Fuji Bazi. He's now advised viewers on CNN. He had a town hall video recently, and he says, hey, even when you're in your house, you gotta wear a mask. I want you healthy, wear a mask. Oh, I think he just said vaccines don't work. Is that what he said? I don't know. I wish he would quit saying things. Photo radar. I don't like photo radar. <laughs> I get home often to open up the mail. I got all these little things. Pictures of pictures and you're owing us money now. You know what? Defund the police on this one. Get rid of all the police that actually do the traffic stops and have more cameras or have more police than fewer ca no cameras. One or the other. What is this double system? Oh, hey, y'all come back. See ya.